Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT This Morning, the funeral for a six-year-old boy who was the victim of a tragic murder will be held today. He was arrested for a bank robbery yesterday, but now police say he could be behind multiple robberies. He's got the details just ahead. And with Christmas two weeks away, the U.S. Postal Service shares some tips to avoid being the victim of package theft. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning and welcome into you. Happy Friday. I'm Rebecca Smith. Hello, I'm Bill Bryant. Good to have you along with us. December 11th, and it is two weeks away from Christmas. So everybody get ready for that. I have to admit, I don't even have my decorations up yet. Isn't that bad? I was going to try to do it last weekend. <sighs> There's always next year. <laughs> There's always next year, Micah. Uh, I guess. Hop to it this weekend. It'll be good weather for, for uh, that, right? It really will be. I mean, you're sitting there this weekend pretty dry, and those temperatures record highs. It's going to be phenomenal. Here's the, here's the look across 64 northbound. That's where we're holding on to a few sprinkles here and there. That's moving northbound, and that's why some of us will wake up with a few drops there on the backyard patio or, or the driveway. But other than that, we're looking pretty good. Mostly cloudy skies will prevail today. We're already near 60 degrees outside. Now, once we get into the afternoon, we will be at 66, only a small chance at seeing a passing light shower or two. Focus of the forecast, obviously, these record highs for both Saturday and Sunday. I'll show you how high we get and also when the next big rain comes on in. Coming up. Thank you, Micah. In the news this morning, we're getting our first look at a man who police say robbed a Lexington bank. Police were able to arrest the suspect shortly after he robbed a bank on Tate's Creek Road yesterday. Now in custody, police think he may be responsible for a string of bank robberies dating all the way back to May. WKYT's Michelle Chamberlain is live to explain. Yeah, police caught the man they say has robbed four banks here in Lexington. Police say Ronnie Birdsong held up the Central Bank on Takes Creek Road yesterday and was caught a couple of miles away. Now, here's your first look at Ronnie Birdsong. Court documents say he ran from police and broke into someone's home to try and hide. After being caught on Yellowstone Parkway, the report says Birdsong confessed to yesterday's robbery. Police say he also held up the Chase Bank on Richmond Road in May, the Community Trust Bank on Richmond Road, along with Fork Bank on South and Drive. Both of those robberies happening in November. Now, according to court documents, Birdsong is charged with four counts of robbery, one count of burglary, and possession of a gun by a convicted felon. Now, Birdsong is set to be arraigned here later today. In Lexington, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. Michelle, thank you very much. A Lincoln County man he is recovering this morning after being shot during a home invasion. It happened around 6 o'clock last night on Esther Spur Road, south of Stanford. The sheriff's office says the homeowner suffered a wound to the leg and has been flown to UK. They say that the wife was home at the time but was not hurt. Deputies have identified a suspect as 20 year old Cody Staten. The authorities there are still searching for him this morning. And hearts will be heavy in Woodford County today as friends and family members will be gathering to say their last goodbyes to a six-year-old boy who was killed earlier this week. For sales police say Logan Tipton was murdered during a seemingly random home invasion Monday morning. Hundreds gathered as his visitation last night, and more are expected to do the same today. WKOT's Mike Fire is live in Versailles, where there's been an outpouring of support. Hey guys, it's really dark. And you can't see behind me, but uh, behind me is Community Stadium Field, where later this morning family and friends will gather to say goodbye to six year old Logan Tipton. Now, there has been no shortage of people stepping up, especially in the community here, helping Logan and his family through this difficult time. That will continue this morning as hundreds are expected to attend Logan's funeral service. It begins at 11 a.m. on this football field where he once played. Those close to the six year old say he loved playing the sport, which only makes it suiting that, her ser that his service is held right here. Now, a GoFundMe page has been set up to help the Tipton family with their financial expenses. In just three days, so far, nearly $50,000 has been raised. That is amazing. For now, live in Versailles, Mike Byer, WKYT. All right, thanks so much, Mike. This morning, fire crews are investigating a late night fire at a Lexington apartment. This happened just after 10:30 last night on Winter Garden near Alumni Drive. Firefighters say the fire broke out in the kitchen of an apartment. Luckily, they were able to contain that fire. Nobody reported any injuries. Firefighters say they're now trying to figure out exactly how the fire started. 
We have now learned more about the case involving a body that was found in a box in southeastern Kentucky. State police say the body found in Bell County is that of Doug Bailey of Prescott, Wisconsin. Authorities there say he had been missing since Thanksgiving. His girlfriend, Rose Cooney, has been arrested. Police say she told them that she dropped him off along an Illinois interstate just days before the holiday. I got a story that they were headed out to holidays and um, he just... Uh, got out of the truck in somewhere in Illinois and said leave me here don't don't come back for me and uh, that started the missing persons part. Police say they are now trying to figure out how Bailey was killed and how he ended up in Kentucky. Well, with Christmas now two weeks away it's a busy time of year for the U.S. Postal Service right now Lexington's distribution center currently processing 80,000 packages a day. That number is up 10 percent from last year. The post office works hard to make sure packages arrive on time for the holidays, but they're now warning people about becoming victim of package thefts. We caution people to check your mail. Don't let your mail sit overnight. If you're not going to be home, you can make alternative arrangements maybe with a neighbor or use an alternative address that can um, receive that package during the day. Wright says those are important tips to keep in mind, especially with the busiest mailing and shipping day to come on Monday and the busiest delivery day a week after that. The time this morning is 5.06 on WKYT, and a central Kentucky city will be voting early next year on whether to stay dry or whether to allow alcohol sales. A special election on alcohol sales inside the city limits of Harrodsburg has been set for February 23rd. The date was set after the county received a petition with the required number of valid signatures. The deadline to register to vote for that election will be January 22nd. Some children recently received a visit from Santa. He made an appearance at the annual Christmas party for the visually impaired preschool service at the Lexington Speech and Hearing Center last night. VIPs helps families of young children with visual impairments. Those families say the party is a nice chance to catch up with one another. What better time than the holidays? So we get to have a little community, um, catch up with everything that we've been doing for the past year, and it's just a nice little gathering. And last night's Christmas party for VIPS is the largest event of the year for that organization. Looks like uh, they had fun, certainly, yeah. there last night, special evening. WKYT this morning just getting started, coming up on 508 on your Friday. And we have the 50s outside this morning, really nice feel this morning. And then we head toward the afternoon in the 60s, then we hit possible record highs this weekend in the 70s. I'll have that coming up next.